Hey there, this is Dana Urquiri, author, speaker, and wellness advocate. Did you know that every 19 minutes, a patient dies of a prescription overdose? Yes, that's correct. Every 19 minutes, a prescription kills someone. And many people are going through some horrific ordeals with prescription medicine. And so today I want to suggest chat a little bit about my own experience with a variety of prescription drugs versus CBD, which is an oil. It's plant-based. It's made from cannabis. Most CBD oil will not get you high. There is no euphoria because of two things. Number one, it's very low in THC. THC is what gets you high but it's extremely low with only 0.03% or less of THC. And we have to keep in mind, there's also plenty of brands of CBD that don't contain any THC at all. So, you know, people who think that someone is taking CBD to get high, you're greatly um, misunderstanding that the average person is not seeking any form of psychedelic effects no instead they're seeking wellness naturally and they're considering cbd or cannabis as a an option you know it's plant-based it's natural it's made from god it's anti-inflammatory anti-anxiety antidepressant antipsychotic antibacterial it's an antioxidant which is really great for the winter and your immune system and it's anti-seizure, anti-tumor, we can go on and on, antidepressant. I mean, there's so many wonderful, valuable benefits to CBD oil. And someone such as myself who has been through some extremely frightening experiences and just a nightmare, just a nightmare. I mean, there's no other way to explain it other than saying, that 10 years ago when I started taking some Balta and then the doctor added on Ativan, which is a benzodiazepine, and then they decided to add on Prozac. Um, for one, you know, did the doctor lose sanity? Like you don't put a patient on all of those medications that are containing serotonin because what will happen is the patient will end up with serotonin syndrome, which is just hell and back. And I had been there. You know, you can't just keep giving patients drugs. But unfortunately, in our medical industry today, especially in mental health, it is very common for patients to be handed one or more prescriptions. Typically, patients are not just taking one drug, they're taking countless drugs. And then if you add on top of it over the counter drugs, it could get quite toxic. And sadly, people are missing this. There's so many patients who are not being monitored and they're not being watched. And then doctors start adding some very potent combinations of these cocktails of medicine. And it can really slam a person with horrific emotional distress, with physical symptoms, with withdrawal symptoms, and it could actually cause suicide. It could cause death. Um, there's many fatalities with opioids, with benzodiazepines, with gabapentin, with Cymbalta, and with many other drugs. And it's interesting that people try to discredit those who speak out and tell their story. You know, there are so many people on YouTube who are just bravely sharing their honest story. You know, they're not looking to get all these likes and subscriptions. They're just being honest. It's just an honest review. They took such and such a drug this is what happened and that is their experience and yet it's really interesting that the comments that start filling up our youtube videos have a lot of people saying that it's not true 
a lot of people are discrediting the person on the YouTube video. And I'm going to use for an example, my top video is flying high with gabapentin. Excuse me, turning off the heater, it's hot in here. Anyways, flying high with gabapentin is a very popular video. And it's interesting because I'll get all these people who want to say, no, it won't cause euphoria. No, it won't cause any negative side effects. No, it's not causing no problem for me. And so they're, they're sharing their personal experience, but that's not my personal experience. So regardless that someone is doing perfectly fine on a prescription drug, for example, gabapentin, it's ridiculous that they discredit people such as myself or even maybe you when we share our story and we say that we did go through wicked withdrawals from medications, we went through negative side effects, we had a horrible response, sometimes it was severe interactions with medications that are a toxic combination that hinder our central nervous system, our neurotransmitters, our mental health, our physical body, our organs. And it, for many people, is a scary experience because when you go through withdrawals, um, there's nothing, nothing that um, is the same. So if someone says, well, I never went through withdrawal, so I don't know what it's like. Number one, be glad you didn't go through withdrawals. Number two, stop judging people who did go through wicked withdrawals. And number three, please stop discrediting those who are just giving their honest review of a particular medication or a combination of medications. It is just ridiculous and appalling when people try to say, you know, there's no way you got high off gabapentin. Well, I'm telling you right now, I wasn't looking to have euphoria. You know, I wasn't after getting high off a drug. Number one, I don't do street drugs. Number two, I was never seeking any euphoria. Number three, I went through hell. I'm talking a nightmare. I am talking the worst horrific experience of my life when Ativan and Gabapentin together were the most poisonous combination for me. Now keep in mind, this is my body, this is my response, this is my true story, and if you don't agree with me, scroll on by, scroll on by people, but you cannot sit there and discredit me or anyone else and say that what we went through was false and that we didn't have euphoria or that we didn't have withdrawals or that we didn't go through the most craziest time on particular medications prescribed. Now keep in mind, they were prescribed. A doctor prescribed us. A doctor did not monitor us. A doctor did not take care of us. There's negligence going on today. And that is why I continue to advocate for healing, health, and hope. That's why I blow the whistle on various medications. And if people don't like it, you have the choice to just scroll on by, you know, it doesn't mean that this is a good fit for you. If you're into taking drugs, you might just want to scroll on by and find videos where people talk, um, about other things. And for me, I think the big, big eye opener is that there is healing and there is recovery and there is a whole new life waiting ahead of us without drugs. We don't need medication. We might have pain problems like chronic pain, autoimmune conditions, neuralgia. We might have depression, anxiety, PTSD. We might have um, arthritis and various conditions, but that doesn't mean that we need one or more drugs. And we always have to understand prescription medicine is a Band-Aid. All it does is cover up symptoms. It is not getting to the root cause. It is not resolving the problem. It is only covering up symptoms. And when you start adding one or more drugs, you are putting yourself in potential danger to hinder your central nervous system, your neurotransmitters, your organs, your kidney, your liver, your heart, your health, your life, and your future. And I'm only saying this because it is my story. It is my experience. 
And I'm thankful today that I recently had celebrated my eight year anniversary free from Ativan, which is benzodiazepine, free from gabapentin. And, you know, for people who want to, you know, gripe, you know, about, ben about the benzos or about the gabapentin and say it's fine for you, if it's fine for you, hey, so be it good for you but it was hell for me and it's hell for many others and I'm so glad I reached my eight-year anniversary free from gabapentin free from Ativan free from all the medications um, it's just such an empowering feeling knowing that I was able to make a difference in my own life that I didn't need some doctor to fix me because guess what doctors can't fix you okay they're only human and they make a whole hell of a lot of mistakes and all we have to do is start looking into all the deaths involved with prescription drugs for various reasons there are so many people losing their lives every day and so we have to consider alternatives eight years ago I decided to check out various alternatives and I started a healing path and it began with cleaning up my diet with using essential oils, with checking into herbal remedies. I love extra strength turmeric. I use it every day, twice a day. It's extra strength, it's plant-based. Um, I use turmeric spice to cook. I even have the essential oil turmeric. Um, as a side note, I have to be honest, I'm disappointed that the aroma is not the best. Not the best aroma it's strong real strong but it, it is anti-inflammatory it's wonderful for chronic pain turmeric is great now of course three years ago i started a healing pathway with cbd and it began where it wasn't even really me looking into it it was the fact that my mother was diagnosed with stage three brain cancer and I was trying to look outside the box, you know, hey, what can we do to reduce her nausea? You know, a lot of people going through chemo and radiation are extremely nauseated. They're very sick, very, very, very ill. It's horrible. It's horrible. You know, watching someone die of cancer, it's heartbreaking. So CBD was something we looked into. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to try it. You know, I have fibromyalgia, I have herniated discs, I have depression and insomnia and different things that I think it could benefit. And so I started researching, I started reading, I started trying. Boy, what a journey it's been, a CBD wellness journey. I've gained so much insight. Um, not all CBD is created equal. Please do your research. There are some junk just junk out there make sure that it's a pure product make sure that they're not putting all these artificial oils and fake ingredients and synthetics in it you really do want plant-based you want something that is non-gmo made in the united states of america is the safest way to go you don't want all these other ingredients you don't want glycerin oil skip it if it contains glycerin oil and make sure that they're not fooling you and claiming that your CBD is pure when really it barely has any CBD at all. Um, I've tried a lot of CBD over the past three years and I could say it's great for fibromyalgia, insomnia, anxiety, depression, gut health, gastrointestinal problems, skin you know even topically applying on your skin um, applying like on your shoulders and different trigger points with fibromyalgia or arthritis um, cbd oil is great for that too and it's something to consider it's something to do a lot of research and to understand that you're not going to die over cbd so every 19 minutes someone dies from prescription drugs but i guarantee you there's no death from CBD oil. If you'd like to learn more, please research it. And the meanwhile, you could check out my website at DanaOrCurie.com. If you want to share about anything you went through with medications, feel free to share. If you have tried CBD or you're looking to try it or you want to know more about it, feel free to comment. I'll share future videos about a new CBD I'm using. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.